Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 5,000 calorie challenge. No, actually, this is just what I eat every day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take you through a full day of eating, as promised. I have been wanting to do a full day of eating for a long time, but I'll be honest, when I'm eating this food, I don't really feel like filming because it's hard to get down. Um, let's run straight into it. Meal one, 120 carb, 45 protein, and 20 fat. I have this in the form of two bagels with 50 grams of jam. That's my carbs done. Uh, I'm also about to make a shake. And yes, I'm going to put oil in it because why? It's fucking easy to get down. You need to hit macros. Olive oil is pretty healthy for you. I have a very good high quality olive oil. Um, and I'll just pour 20 grams into a shake. I'll shake it up and done. Yeah, well, uh, that's awkward. Man's got no oil, so I can't eat. Can't show you my tricks. Can't show you the tricks of the trade, the secrets of the trade. I have to get massive. Um, so I'm going to do it without oil and I'm going to catch up that 20 grams of fats later on. AM. Um, I like to wait about an hour before I train. Um, I actually like to wait about 90 minutes now. Um, I noticed that before I was eating, I was literally eating, going to the gym. And I'd wait around for like 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I was training. I noticed that there's a big difference between waiting 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes. So if I can, I'll do 90 minutes, depending on when I wake up and stuff, and what fits into my day. Um, but today, I just wanted to sleep. I felt so good. I've been sleeping so good. I've been sleeping so good the last couple of days. I wanted to just catch up on that sleep that I've missed over the last three or four weeks. Um, so I'm going to wait 60 minutes. And then, well, I'll, I'll make my way to the gym in about 45 minutes. Um, and then we'll start about 11 p.m. after a pre-workout. Um, and I'll show you my intros. Fucking spill it everywhere. In. In. Uh, tra. Intra, in my workout, I drink my intra shake. In that shake, you saw 80 grams of highly branched cyclic dextrin. Why highly branched cyclic dextrin? Because it is of high molecular weight. It passes through the gastric lining very, very quickly, and it promotes gastric emptying because of the osmolarity of it. Therefore, you can drink it intra, it goes through your stomach really quickly. That's what it is in layman's terms. I've also got five grams of creatine in there. I've also got five grams of glycine in there and a man an amino acid. Um, and also I've got a squirt of 40,000 volts, which is just a hydration solution, sodium, potassium, all the other minerals that you need to stay hydrated. I drink this throughout my workout. I literally start drinking it at the start. I make sure I finish before the end. Um, and then that's it. That is like another 80 grams of carbs in. Oh, and also BCAs. Sorry, EAAs were in there. Um, 15 grams of EAAs. So that's like 15 grams of protein, 180 carb, and you're just drinking that intro. It's like another eating window, but it's super easy to get in. So I recommend intro if you've not tried it before. Go with a minimum of 30. Um, we know that to stay full, you need about 30 grams, especially over a workout. Obviously, I'm just trying to put more in so I can so I can gain weight. Um, but even in prep, this won't go. This will stay in until 30 grams of highly branched cyclic through throughout for sure. Um, fuel your fuel your sessions better than ever. On to post workout. We have 183 grams of cocoa hops, aka 150 grams of carbs. I then get 50 more carbs from these square bars and a little bit of fat. Oh my god, George, you're eating square bars. Square bars, you got a shit diet. You know what? i got to eat what I can get in and these digest very well. So they're a good option for me. I then go back to my way. Um, impact way isolate. And I do uh, 50 grams of that. So it's 45 grams of protein again. So this makes 200 grams of, of carbs. Um, about 10 grams of fat from the square bars. Um, and 45 grams of protein we're doing it so if you guys add up from the start we did 120 for breakfast we did 80 intra that's 200 plus 200 now this is 400 grams of carbs and two meals pretty much and a drink 
um, and then protein's at 90, and then fat should be at 30. Uh, but it's at 10, I'm gonna catch up with that extra 20. I bought some oil, so I'm not gonna put the oil in my post-workout shake, but I'm gonna add the oil into my next meal after this. Um, and yeah, like th this is just food that digests well. Everything I pick is picked within digestion. I could fucking do a load of oats right now, but guess what? I'll get bloated because of the fiber, um, maybe the gluten as well. I could stick a load of honey in there, I'd get a sugar rush from that. So yeah, there's sugar in this, but for some reason it goes down way, way better um, than just drinking like fucking sucrose, like honey and stuff. So I did actually have a meal where I'd just do Rice Krispies and pour maple syrup all over, like organic maple syrup, but it just fucking sent my blood sugars crazy. This actually keeps my blood sugars in check. Uh, so I'm picking things with digestion in mind, guys, and that's if you're eating a lot of fucking food, you need to do that. Yes, not everything's going to be 100% healthy, but nearly every single thing that I eat, 90% of what I eat is hot as whole foods, whole ingredients, single ingredient foods, um, bar this post-workout, and then probably my last meal as well. But you got to make what's work work, because if you ain't eating, you ain't growing. And if you're complaining about not eating, then guess what? You're probably complaining about not growing. Meal three, I go for 500 grams of sweet potato. I'm gonna chop the ends off, so I just weigh it about 30 grams over. And then I have uh, 165 grams of chicken. This works out 100 carb from the sweet potato, 45 protein from the chicken. I'm also gonna add that oil in from earlier, so I'm gonna put 20 grams of oil over my chicken and over my um, sweet potato. And then I'm gonna have a salad with this, and this will be meal three. So, 500 carb, I can't do it in my head, you know what I'm about. We've got 150 grams of chicken, 45 grams of protein. We've got a packet of rice. Oh my God, Josh, you eat packet rices? Yes, because they taste good. I've been eating these for like six weeks maybe. Um, I changed it out when normal rice was just a bit, a bit hard because I needed that flavor. I should probably just flip my rice and that up, but you know how it is. I'm also going to eat one apple for some fiber and some vitamins. I'm also going to eat the rest of these beetroot. Um, I normally have a little bit more beetroot, but there's only three left, so that's my that's my uh, health for today. Another thing I do now is have all of my supplements and my tablets and my anti-inflammatories. Um, not in my third meal now, so we don't actually want them anywhere around our window of training because the anti-inflammatory properties actually might stop the adaptogen, the adaptogenitive, that's not a word, Josh, <laughs> process of the body. So that inflammation that we create when we train, when we break down muscle fiber, we need that inflammation. It's a positive signal to our body to say, we need to adapt to this information. We don't want this information here. So the body, you know, will, will respond to that by growing new tissue. So it's part of that adapt, adaptogenic, tell it again, um, protocol post, post, post training. So taking any CBD, curcuminoids, anything like that around a workout is a no, no, because I train early in the morning. I just have my, my, my pre and then go into a workout. Um, I just don't, have them then, so I have them now, like, you know, it's like 6 p.m. now, um, or 5.30 p.m. I trained, five, I finished training four hours ago, five hours ago, that window has now subsided. Now I can have my adaptions to bring away any unwanted information versus wanted information. Any information that sticks around for a while, that's probably not what we want in our bodies. To the final meal of the day, uh, we have 150 grams of 5% beef with a mixture of sweet potato and white potato. As I fill in my clients for the day, do my last meal, 500 gram, no, I have in there 150 grams of 5% beef, I have five grams of oil, I have 500 grams of potato, I have 250 sweet, 250 plain, and then have salad underneath, and I add a little bit of like barbecue seasoning to, um, to spice it up. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish this video with another physique check-in. I'm feeling very good. I was 105.3 kilos this morning. Um, and I think you can see that in the thickness here um, across the top. You, you guys will see that I hold a lot of my body fat in my back. 
versus my front. Like I've got pretty good abs. I've even got like some serratus there. Um, guys, I'm about like 15 kilos over stage weight, maybe even 20 kilos over stage weight at this point. Um, so like there's a lot of body fat there, which is fine. Um, but I hold a lot of mine in the, in the back, which just shows the different people's genetics because a lot of people hold it in their front. I don't, I get lean um, a lot, a lot quicker.